hello guys and welcome back to my channel evasion mentors and guys in today video we will be talking about a topic geocentric latitude and geodetic latitude so let's begin with the chapter so guys let us study what is our geocentric latitude geocentric latitude and the other term is your geodetic latitude so guys these uh, two terms are very simple and mm, in the dgc examination you might get a one mark or a two mark question but nevertheless we have to cover this topic and it's uh, good to have uh, the knowledge about the geocentric and geodetic latitude because this topic uh, in general you should uh, know about uh, it so have a look here guys so let me just start with the geocentric latitude so before starting the geocentric latitude i want you to understand what is the geocenter of the earth and to understand the geocenter of the earth have a look here guys if i suppose draw a earth this is my earth and i'm going to take up a different color pencil okay so this is my north and this is my south okay so there is a line joining the north and south okay now this line uh, is known as your earth's axis or you can say this line is known as is known as your earth axis or you can say earth rotational axis so i'm going to take up this as north and take up this as south and i'm going to say that this is my earth's axis or you can say axis of rotation and i'm going to draw a equator this is my equator so wherever the equator equator or you can say the equatorial plane cuts the axis of the earth here it is cutting here that point is known as your geocenter of the earth this is known as the geocenter of the earth now okay so i'm going to write up the definition for the geocenter so where equatorial plane where equatorial plane cuts the earth's axis plane is known as your is known as your geocenter now you have understood what is geocenter now let us understand what is your geocentric latitude very simple guys geocentric latitude is exactly the same that i have told you what your latitudes are so have a look here so suppose this is the your earth okay so now let me just draw a simple equator for you this is the equator okay so suppose guys this red mark is the place or a observer of whom we need to find the geocentric latitude and this is my geocenter of the earth so if i join the geocenter of the earth if i join just a second okay if i join the geocenter of the earth to the equatorial to the geocenter of the earth to the observer this angle this angle is known as your geocentric latitude so this one is your geocentric latitude and i will be writing the definition down for you this is my equator this is my equator this is let's say the place or you can say the observer and this is my geo center this is north and this is south so let us write down the definition of the geocentric latitude so as you can see from the definition geocentric latitude is the angle geocentric latitude is the angle between the line geocentric latitude is the angle between the line joining the observer line joining the observer to the to the geocenter of the earth to the geocenter of earth and the equatorial equatorial plane okay so this is the definition 
Geocentric latitude is the angle between the line joining the observer to the geocenter of the earth and the equatorial plane. So let me just highlight down the definition for you and let us see the definition in terms of diagram. So geocentric latitude is the angle between the equator and the geocenter means the line joining the observer to the geocenter of the earth. So now guys since we have understood what is the geocenter of the earth now let us talk about what is the geodetic latitude. Now understand one thing geodetic latitude is also known as your geographic latitude. So let's talk about it. So guys, if we want to talk about the geographic latitude or the geodetic latitude, what is it? See, first of all, let me just draw down two things. Uh, let us draw down the equator. This is our equator and this is the place or the observer of which we have to find out the geodetic latitude. So guys, what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to draw a tangent. Okay, this tangent will be known as the horizontal plane okay this axis will be known as the horizontal plane of the observer so let me just write it down for you okay so here just a second okay this is the horizontal this is the horizontal plane to the observer and as I have told you, you can take this as a place or you can say it is an observer. Okay. So guys, if I drop down a normal to this plane, normal to this plane means I am dropping a normal. Normal means 90 degree to this plane. The angle, this angle, which a normal plane, this is your normal plane angle which the normal plane is making with your equator normal plane is making with the equator see this is your equator equator is known as your geodetic latitude okay so what i'm gonna do is let me just write down the definition for you guys so as per the definition your geodetic geodetic latitude is the angle between normal to the angle between the normal to the observer plane and the equatorial plane Okay, so very simple guys. I hope you have understood the geodetic and geocentric latitude. So I'm going to put up an image for you guys. So have a look here. And in this image, we will be looking at both geocentric and geodetic latitude together. Okay, so have a look here on this image. Guys, see, this is your normal this phi phi is your geographic latitude this geographic latitude is also known as your geodetic latitude okay so let me just take up a different color okay and this uh, this is your geocentric latitude so you can see guys this is the observer okay this is the observer the angle between the line joining the observer to the geocenter of the earth is known as your geocentric latitude and the angle so let me just grab a different color and the angle between the normal to the observer plane and the equator is known as your geodetic latitude so guys as you can see so let me just uh, take up let this is your uh, geodetic latitude so I am going to take it as phi and this is your sigma. Okay. So as you can see guys, your geo, ge, your geo latitude, your geodetic latitude 
will always be will always be greater than your will always be greater than your geocentric latitude okay so it will always be greater than your geocentric latitude so this is the one important point that we have understood from the geocentric and geodetic and you can see it clearly guys because your this one is your geocentric latitude just a second okay this one is your geocentric latitude and this red one is your geodetic and you can see your geodetic your geodetic latitude will be greater than your geocentric latitude now guys this is the one point another point that you need to understand is this one will come as a one mark question and it has come many times in the dgc examination there will be there will be no difference there will be no difference in geodetic and geocentric and geocentric latitude geocentric latitude at poles and equator at poles and equator why let's understand this uh, you must have understood by the definition itself but still i'm going to explain you guys so that no confusion remains so guys if suppose this is my equator and this is the place of which we need to find the geocentric latitude and it the place lies on the equator suppose this is the place so guys this is the geocenter of the earth so if i join the geocenter of the earth and that plane the angle this angle uh, just a second guys okay uh, let me just redo it okay yeah so this angle guys this angle will be your geocentric latitude now if i draw a horizontal plane to this observer this is my horizontal plane and i drop a normal this would be my normal right and the same angle will be my geodetic latitude so in terms of equator your geodetic geodetic will be equal to your geocentric and same will be the case in terms of your poles okay now guys the important point that you need to remember is that the maximum difference the max difference the maximum difference between your geocentric the maximum difference between geocentric latitude and geodetic latitude and geodetic latitude will be will be 11.6 minutes remember this guys this is very important maximum difference between your geocentric latitude and geodetic latitude will be 11.6 minute and this 11.6 minute difference will be at the 45 degree latitude ye 45 degree latitude pe hi hoga okay so if in the question they ask you that what is the uh, what is the maximum difference between the geodetic and the geocentric latitude you need to answer it will be 11.6 minute and where it is 45 degree latitude okay so guys very simple uh, points of geodetic and geocentric uh, just go through it once more revise fair up the notes which i have given you okay and yeah that's it and in the next video we will be talking about the nautical mile and the shilong and the shilat so remember these point uh, there will be no difference in geodetic and geocentric latitude at poles and equator your geodetic latitude will always be greater than your geocentric latitude and yeah and the definitions so that's it about the geocentric and geodetic latitude guys and i will see you guys in the next video till then uh, do like the video uh, if you find it interesting and if you find it that it is helping you with your DGC examination. Subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and stay tuned to the channel for the upcoming videos. Have a good day and take care. Bye-bye.